Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I have this to show you, which is a Ninja Foodie Max. It's you and I. It's a pressure cooker which can crisp your food as well. So it has an air um, fryer built in. This kind of pressure cooker is not new to us or at home here. So last um, Black Friday sales um, in the UK, we bought the famous Instant Pot. And we have been using this for the past year or so. And as a, uh, as a family which cooks a lot of Chinese food, um, we do use that a lot. Um, what I find is that it's not just to save time, um, but actually the, it does give your food a more intense flavor and the meat are a lot more tender because it's pressure, pressurized cooking. Um, this technology is not new, it has been around for a long time. But now it has come some kind of like computer programming and it's all electric and it's very user friendly. Um, the Instant Pot was fantastic and um, the Ninja Food P Max I have high expectation uh, because it is a lot more expensive. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys so you can see what come out from the box. And I'm also going to demonstrate um, a bit of the cooking like uh, making some simple french fries and uh, mixing some uh, barbecue um, ribs, which is my favorite, um, and cooking with a pressure cooker and actually um, air crips it with the machine itself. I think that will be a fantastic way to demonstrate what this can do. So it comes with a big massive box right here. And you can tell it's a very, very well designed product. You've got loads of lovely pictures in the front. I, I did search on the YouTube for review videos on this product, but most of them are from the US market. Nothing wrong with that. It just, um, I think the way they cook stuff is slightly different, especially from um, Chinese background. We cook things different as well, but the machine will be the same, but we use them slightly different. So out of the box, we have some instruction menu. We have a metal kind of a grill thing, grid, a lid, another metal grid actual machine right here okay so this is the max which is I think the larger version of uh, the machine this one have a 7.5 liter pot so um, I think one of the reason why I choose this one is that you can actually fit a whole chicken in there like a uh, roast chicken so here we are plastic body metal kind of an inlay Control knob is a twist knob here. Now what makes this machine different from your normal Instapot is this part of the machine. So the main, the main lid is actually the air fryer. You can see the heating element here. So basically circulate the hot air and try to creep the food inside. comes with this grill basket and this is the actual cooking pot now this is different from our insta pot I think this is a uh, kind of a coated stainless steel whereas the insta pot has a complete stainless steel pot I love this because it's so easy to clean and the food doesn't stick to it very easily. Even if you're trying to creep stuff with this, if the food do get stuck, you just soak it and then it comes off fantastically easy. And the other thing with Instant Pot is obviously you cook kind of um, a dish and everything in one pot. And what we find is sometimes you want to cook multiple products, so we actually buy spare. So we have two, so we, we finish cooking one, we just unload this and then put the next one in and then we start cooking again. By the way, this is not a cooking channel and I am not a very good cook. I can follow instructions, but that's, uh, that's, that's my ability of cooking, just follow instructions. Whoever designed this product and called it a ninja is really a genius because basically you need two machines into one and rather than making it complicated, all it is is the pressure cooker relies on the heat element from the bottom of the machine and you have a separate lid for that. So when you want to pressure cook your food, all you need to do is attach the lid 
And this works exactly like your Instant Pot or other brand of uh, pressure cooker. But when you need to crisp your food, for example, you don't want to just use pressure and steam to cook your food. If you actually want to fry the food, basically all you need to do is twist the lid and remove that completely. Have your food either in the top here or use a crisps, crisps fire. So this is what you, what you want to put your food inside so it doesn't touch the wall. So the air circulates to fry your food. And basically you put this one in here. And to fry your food, all you need to do is just close the lid. Because the lid now is the kind of the hot air oven thing, which kind of creeps the food. And with all kind of a pressure cooker device, there's always a uh, kind of a, a water catcher. So to catch all the steam coming from the side of the lid. This, don't forget, needs to be emptied every time you use it, or else you can get like, you know, bacteria growth and moldy. Um, the aesthetic of it looks... Um, Really, really amazing. I do like the black plastic and the steel insert just blending with the rest of my kitchen. So this is going to sit right next to my instant pot. So we have two devices. So with two of the stainless steel inserts from the instant pot that we can use to cook two dishes. And then we can use this as well. So this will be our third kind of a dish. And if we need to fry fruits and stuff like that, we can always use the air fry as well. So I'm really pleased with this product. And um, I'm going to show you some cooking next. So being a sensible person that I am, I actually read the instruction and I'm going to test out the pressure cooker side of it with just a, a couple of cups of water. But while I was reading the instructions and the information, I come across this uh, recipe book. And the time and effort that they spend to make sure that, you know, the recipe book have mouth-watering picture of food, then you can tell this is an actual quality product. I wish, I wish a lot of other company and even the kind of Chinese manufacturing company just spend a bit more time and effort into making the user experience a much better one by just spending some time and effort. I mean, the English, the grammar, the spelling, everything was perfect. And the picture is very enticing. You know, looking at this, I think follow the simple instruction is like, I'm really thinking that I can do that. Ideally, we use apple cider or apple juice, but I don't have either, so I just use some orange juice. Don't need a lot, because I only want the acid from the juice. A bit of white wine. Just a splash. And then some water. Okay, and then what do you need is to make sure the ribs doesn't sit on the water, you put the rib on here, and then you can start laying the ribs on. I would like to lay it in such a way where, kind of like a rose pattern. It depends on how many people you're cooking for. As much as I can, I, I won't let them kind of lie, lay on top of each other. I try to make sure the steam and the heat can get to the meat evenly. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. And now I put that in the pot. Okay, and then put the lid back on. And then we are going to Switch it on. There we go. And that's, that's all you need to do to set up the cooking.
So he ties the ribs. So good that I ate too many that I feel like I'm going to fall off. Oh, please don't. Oh, that's just going to chicken sauce, is it? It's going to get a bit obscene. Okay. Like There's a reason why the chicken is yellow because it's organic. Okay. Oh, I thought this was I thought this was a potato. Yorkshire potatoes. So this is the end of my review video. I absolutely love the Ninja Foodi Max machine and um, it does cook excellent food, locks in the flavor and is quick and easy to use. And I hope that the video helped you in terms of like, you know, making your choice. If you enjoy watching my review video, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.